Monday marks a new week in Salt Lake City. A fresh start for some, but for the University of Utah football team, it marks the beginning of an end. A few weeks ago, the Utes hoped their last home game would be a launching pad to the Pac-12 championship. But that was before recent losses to USC and UCLA knocked them from contention. Still, a win against Colorado on Saturday will earn Utah a share of the Pac-12 South title. For a team picked to finish fifth in the division, this season can only be considered one thing, a success. You guys think about all of what has happened over 12, 13 weeks, okay? Whether it be frustrations, highs, okay? Uh, good moments, okay? Now it comes down to this week. I want to let you guys know more than anybody, I believe in you guys, okay? I believe in you guys. A lot of positive this season. We got off to a great start, obviously, 6-0. Uh, didn't finish as strong as we would have liked, but uh, it was a fun group of guys to coach. Really enjoyed coaching these guys this year. The team in its current incarnation will never be the same. This year's senior class will be gone in June. For some, the NFL beckons. But for all, the game of football and their days wearing the red and black of Utah will be forever. I've played football since I was, I think, eight years old, and it's, it's kind of just been my life ever since I was little. I'm just thankful for the opportunity I've gotten to, to play for this university. Um, it's done so much for me. You know, this university's really just molded me into the, the person I am today, and I'm just thankful to have the opportunity to be here. Best part of my job is seeing these uh, young kids come in as 17, 18, 19 year old freshmen and see them leave a grown man with a degree in their hand and ready to be a, a positive contributor to society. Not a lot of kids get the opportunity to play college football and um, I, I think it's something that you really gotta be truly grateful for and just wanna make sure I finish out uh, my career here in Utah um, on a positive. Last bloody Tuesday for the seniors. Okay, again, all week long. Seniors, all week long. That's all we're doing. Every, every decision you make, okay, think of those guys, because it impacts them. Okay, last opportunity for the regular season, nine and three. Nine and three is the objective. Okay, so make sure we take care of business. Do it for the seniors. Do everything right. Okay, let's finish this thing the right way. Finish this thing the right way. Okay, any questions? All right, COC, senior, break us out of here. Let's go. These last few days are the culmination of a long run for the seniors. For sixth year receiver Kenneth Scott, his stay in Salt Lake City has been longer than most. But during that time, Scott has made an impact on the program. What's up, Britt? <laughs> recording the 12th most catches in school history. You want to smile for the camera? You want to smile? You want to smile? There you go. Sit. Do. Sit. Lay. Lay. <laughs> Last game, being a, you know, playing in right seconds is going to be crazy. Uh, it went by fast. Uh, they used to always say that quote, en uh, enjoy your time here because, you know, it's going to go by fast. I never believed it to be honest with you. I was like, yeah, it's just another saying, but shoot, it really has. Um, and I've been here the longest, six years, and, uh, and my time went by fast, and I can only imagine if I was only here for four. Come here, come here. You want a treat? Come oh, on, what's up? Is that mommy? Look. <laughs> Ooh. Six years has dwindled to just a few weeks for Kenneth Scott. Saturday will be the last time he runs out at Rice Eccles Stadium. And while there have been numerous memories created, this season is one he will never forget. There's been a lot of ups and downs, for sure. I still think it's a special season because all the stuff we went through, we, we were able to get to number three. And so, uh, you know, we accomplished a lot of things and um, definitely lost some games we should have, you know, won. But, you know, when I look back on this season, I think, you know, it was a good season. Uh, and I just want our senior, well, the seniors now to, you know, Notice, like, man, this is still a great season. And 10 wins is a great, you know, mark to have in the Pac-12.